Hey, what's going on everyone? Axel here. So recently there's been some pictures leaking around the internet. There's been rumors going around that the game Bayonetta 2 is going to be released for Switch and also Bayonetta 1. And this is continuing a trend of Nintendo and just game companies in general re-releasing games on their newest systems. And this got me to thinking, is this necessarily a good thing? Because while in Nintendo's case, it makes a lot of sense, and for other companies it can as well, but for Nintendo specifically, a lot of people didn't buy the Wii U. So it makes sense to release some Wii U games on the Switch because, hey, they put tons and tons of developer hours into some of these great games on the Wii U that are highly critically acclaimed, by the way, and not a whole lot of people have to play them just because the Wii U's install base was really low. So this led me to thinking, is, is this necessarily a good thing? Because when they put resources into remaking games, that means they're pulling resources out of creating new games, new IPs. And if you look at the Switch, when you look at the really big, big hitter titles, the system selling titles, there hasn't really been a single big Switch game that's been solely made for the Switch yet. We had Zelda, but that was actually a Wii U game that was developed to be a Wii U game that near the later half of its development cycle was turned into a Switch game and also released on the Wii U, so it's not a Switch exclusive. The, the other two biggest games are Mario Kart for the Switch, which is a remake of the Wii U version with some other uh, some extra content thrown in there, really the battle mode thrown in there, which actually should have been in the Wii U version to begin with. So that's essentially a Wii U port. Then we've got stuff like uh, Pokémon Tournament that was a port of the Wii U version that's coming to Switch. And there hasn't been a whole lot. I think there has to be a line there because they've already re-released a bunch of games from the Wii U onto the Switch. And what's going to happen in the future? Are they going to keep doing this? Are we going to see this game on the Switch? Or this game on the Switch? Or this game on the Switch? Or this game on the Switch? Where's the line? I think there has to be a line there because if you keep just re-releasing ports, you start to degrade the library of the Switch. Yeah, the Wii U was a small install base, but that install base consisted of your most, the most important Nintendo fans, the hardcore Nintendo fans, the ones that really drive in enthusiasm and support of the company um, in all sorts of mediums. They're the ones that really supported the Wii U through its lifespan. And yeah, while you're introducing these games to the mass market who may not have bought a Wii U, you're kind of degrading the library there. You're introducing a lot of recycled content, and I think that rubs a lot of fans, especially the, the hardcore fans, the wrong way. At least I hope it does, because I do worry, because we see a lot of re-releases, and I'm, I'm actually worried that people are actually okay with game companies just recycling content and reselling it to them at full price. Um, we've seen this with Skyrim recently. Um, that's been re-released a bunch of times. It's, it's been re it was originally on the 360, PS4, PC, or PS3 and PC, and now it's been re-released to the Xbox One, and the PS4 is a remastered version, and now they're re-releasing it again for Skyrim VR, and they're re-releasing it again for Skyrim Switch. In my personal opinion, it's clear that the fact that people are willing to rebuy and rebuy and rebuy Elder Scrolls 6 Skyrim is why we haven't seen Elder Scrolls 7 yet. Why would Bethesda spend all kinds of money and resources making a new massive Elder Scrolls single player game when they can just repackage and resell Skyrim to people over and over and over? So that's a direct example of why buying remakes can be harmful to the gaming community. I'm not saying that if you buy a remastered version of a game that that's necessarily a bad thing. I don't have a problem with someone who didn't experience content in the last generation buying the new version of that content that they hadn't played before. Like I did that. I bought Skyrim on Xbox One because I had never played it before. I missed out on it when it came out originally for the 360 and PS3 and the PC because I just I, I wasn't really into that generation as much. So that's fine. The, what I really have an issue with is people that will buy a game twice or three times when it's the same game just a little with a, maybe a little fancier cut of paint on it like if you already own a game like maybe just stick 
with your original copy of the game instead of buying the original version. I I kind of wish more people would do that because when people take all of the, when people take a game uh, that they already have and they throw out another sixty dollars at a company for recycled content, that tells companies that you're okay. You're okay with them not creating a new product for you. You're okay with them just taking a product that already exists, copy pasting it, putting a new coat of paint on it, and re-releasing it. You're okay with giving them full price for a lot less work on their end. So that that's why I think we've seen this trend of a lot more games being re-released on all mediums. I would never tell anyone how to spend their money. It's your money. You can do with it as you wish. I'm just saying, just think about it. Just consider the option just maybe wait for the price to drop just take it just take into consideration the message you're sending to companies when you do that just think about it I really worry about that because when consumers do that we that means companies don't spend resources giving us new games and new experiences what I want uh, Nintendo to do is give us new IPs I the past Mario Karts were great but I want a new Mario Kart you know, like the past uh, Smash Brothers was great, but I want a new Smash Brothers. It's been what it's you know, after five years. I want a new product. I don't want the the company to just continue to recycle experiences. So that's the problem. That's what I'm worried about, guys. So that's just my thoughts um, about this for today. Uh, just what's been going through my head. So let me know what you think below in the comments. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me. Uh, just let me know. I'd be interested in reading those comments. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, do me a favor and share the video, like, all that stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Take care.